was Ugly Kid Joe's latest video, and that one went... Yes, with that's a kiss for you. There you go. Thank you very much. What can I say? This is possibly the flirtiest person I've ever met in my whole life. Whit Crane and Shannon Larkin. How are you guys doing? Very Ugly well. Kid Joe in the studio today. Studio? We don't have a studio. This is the basement. <laughs> you know, I get I could get fired possibly for saying that. The basement? No, studio. <laughs> Why? Oh, <laughs> it's part of the whole concept here of Much Music. We don't have studios. It's uh, just one big living movie. Did you hear about that yet? Mm -mm. No? I'll tell you about it later. Okay. okay. Move on to you guys. You have the new album, which is not quite so new anymore, but you brought along a video uh, that we're going to see for the first time here on the Power 30. And this is Menace to Sobriety. Here you guys go. Well, that's Klaus as a child right there. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's Klaus in Germany right there. <laughs> yeah, right. Drinking a huge beer. <laughs> Mother's milk right there. <laughs> and here's a picture of Charlie's Angels on the wall. Farah, my first love. <laughs> see what I mean? So you can see that, the, that I'm at heart at work right there, right? In yes. The new album. <laughs> yeah. And then you see those guys, the next, this is actually the same, this is this room next door. And then you see I'm not really in this picture, but I'm... <laughs> but he's hard at I'm work. I'm meditating. He's getting inspiration. See, inspiration <laughs> through the Charlie's Angels. <laughs> menace to sobriety. Are you guys really menace to sobriety? That's more of like a parody. You know, the, the EP was called um, As Ugly As They Want To Be, As sure. Nasty As They Want To Be, Two Live Crew, and then... Uh, and Ice Cube had that album, America's Most Wanted, and we had America's Least Wanted. And then uh, we're thinking and thinking of uh, album titles and basically that Menace to Society, Menace to Society. Menace to Society. And um, this, is, this is the favorite part. This is Farrell T. Smith. I grew up with Farrell, this guy right here. I grew up with him. He's very since, photogenic. Since you're this big, and uh, we were actually on a Crown Royale binge in San Francisco, California. I was sitting on a, in his in his room, looking through his pictures, and that picture right there. Who's looking at it right here? You see that? Beautiful. That's Farrell. So he really <clears throat> typi Farrell he and typi Farrah. he really yes yeah, <laughs> two Fs. He typifies this illustrious title. Menace to sobriety. Thank and you very much. Now you guys have had a big bout of fame, and how has that left you? Let's say. Um, educated. In no. what sense? Um, I don't know. We've gone to travel everywhere in the world you know we were lucky enough to break around the globe so to speak so we've been able to travel around the world three times and go to different cultures and meet different people you know good and bad but concentration mainly on the good people as you mean and yeah. uh you know it's, any it's big, cool any regrets any uh hopes that uh things can you know no regrets because regrets is living in the past you know you gotta always go towards the future but um more like you know we're less like you know three years ago we were very green you know wow what is this what are we doing and uh and now? And now, I mean, he's, he's been jamming far longer than I have. He used to be in uh, Souls at Zero, who we're playing with tonight, along with Varga. Souls at Zero Varga. Souls at Zero Varga. And, we were uh, going we're gonna to play Varga on the show, actually. You are? Yep. They're great. Our manager actually manages those dudes, too. They're great. We're playing yeah. with them tonight. We know them very well. Shows. Good Canuck boys. They are. They're really nice guys. They came yeah. out to L.A. and we hung out. Yeah. But as far as, um, you know, the future, you know, you, you've got to we're going into it with a... Nice big positive lemon twist, you know? It's all good. Have you been staying out of trouble or getting into more trouble lately? Staying out of trouble is pretty much the key, you know? <laughs> to life itself. Well, it follows me around, but not as much as it used to. Why do you think you get into so much trouble, Wit? I don't know. It's a conspiracy. It's a could, government conspiracy. Could it be your ebullient personality and just uh, overall, you know? I can't believe you got married. Why? Because <laughs> where does that leave me? Backdoor man? Well, listen, you know, when, when did I interview you the first time? Three years ago, You had long, ago, straight hair. That's right. Well, straight. My hair's still And you were the cutest straight. thing on two legs. Yeah, and now I'm just an old married hag, No, you're right? still the cutest <laughs> thing on two legs. Congratulations on your marriage. Oh, well, thank you very much. Though it leaves me kind of sad. Does it? Yes. Well, how did we get into this topic? <laughs> Am I getting the role? Oh, look, they want us to rap. Uh, we'll be back, though. Um, so let's check out your new video, which is uh, new to us, Milkman's, Milkman's son. son on the Power 30. And if you look at the very end of the video, you'll see a nice little Aussie inscription on my knuckles. Aussie, it's all good. Aussie rules. I love you all. <laughs>